So welcome back. Today we're going to look at the balance of payments again, we're continuing that look, and we're looking at practice transaction questions. Now these are taken directly from past HSC papers, so that is my source, all of it publicly available from the NESA website. Okay, the syllabus, we're looking at the entirety of the current and capital and financial accounts. Okay, first question. How are foreign company dividends paid to Australian investors recorded on Australia's balance of payments? Now, I know that the money is flowing into Australia. The dividends are paid to Australian investors, so it has to be a credit. So I know that A and C relate to debits and they can go. They're not an option. The second thing is I know that dividends are recorded as primary income on the current account. So credit, current account, and the answer is B. Question 13 from the 2014 HSC. This tells us that Australia's mining boom has resulted in a significant increase in foreign investment. Which of the following shows the effects of this increase on Australia's balance of payments? So, can you see you've got the two columns for the answers? When I get this, I focus on the column that's easiest. If I know that the mining boom has resulted in a significant increase in foreign investment into Australia, because it's Australia's mining boom, then there will be a credit on the capital and financial account. So I know that A and C are not an option, just looking at that second column. Okay primary income account. Now, if foreign companies or foreigners invest in Australia, they want to return. So if the capital inflow is a credit, then the reward for that investment, whether it's profit, dividends, interest, is going to be an outflow from Australia and would be recorded as a debit. So capital inflow, credit increase on the capital and financial account. Capital inflow leads to an outflow from primary income, which is a debit increase. So our answer would be D. Okay, question 16. This shows us the balance of payments for a hypothetical economy. What is the balance on the financial account? The key thing to know here is that the balance on the current account plus the balance on the CAFA will equal zero. So the balance on the current account here is 10 minus 20 minus, minus 5, which gives us negative 15 for the current account. So I know that, okay, that the capital and financial account have to equal positive 15. So negative 15 will then equal 0. So if the capital account is 1, the financial account needs to be a surplus of 14 billion. Okay, again, if this is tricky, then just pause the video, take it bit by bit, and see if you can calculate it to get the correct answer. I said again, but really, it was in a previous recording of this same video that I said, pause it and do it yourself. So anyway, we're trying. So last question for today, or for this video. 2005 HSC. Which of the following is recorded as a debit item in the current account of Australia's balance of payments? Okay, so let's take it bit by bit. Let's start with D. The purchase of equities in an Australian company by an overseas company. Okay, so I know that the purchase of equities in an Australian company by an overseas company that that's going to be an inflow of capital, which would be a credit. So it's not going to be a debit item. C, dividend payments from an overseas company to Australian shareholders. <clears throat> now that's a credit to Australia, so it's not a debit item. B, the purchase by Australians of equities in an overseas company now, the purchase by Australians of equities overseas, that's going to be capital flowing out, 
which is a debit, but it's going to be in the CAFA. So, which leaves us with A, Australian financial aid to developing countries. So, if the Australian government provides financial aid to developing countries, okay, well, this money is flowing out, and this is recorded in the current account. Now, can we remember where in the current account that this would be placed? That's right, net secondary income. Okay, so if there's any confusion, go back over the questions, try them, see where you went wrong.